Hey, Marty, welcome to the Z Learning Podcast. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. All right. So I guess at the time of this recording, it's a little too early to uh, be cracking open a beer, <laughs> but uh, definitely fun to talk about it. Um, before you explain more about your course, maybe you could share with my listeners, you know, your background. How did you get into craft beer, uh, you know, brewing or judging or like how did you get into this um uh, space it's kind of a long story so i'll, I'll try and keep it short uh, it actually goes back to about 1982 uh, that was the first time i ever visited a commercial brewery and in doing so i my world opened up i didn't realize that beer could be fresh number one it was you know it doesn't get any fresher than that a brewery so i learned that and secondly, uh, this brewery made beers in different styles, which again, I wasn't really aware of that. At that point in time, I had been drinking what would be considered mass produced beer. Like, I'm just gonna mention a couple of beers just as a, for instance, Budweiser, Miller, Coors. Uh, that's all I knew up until that point. But when I visited this brewery, they presented beers in many different styles. And that was, you know, that was one of those eureka moments. And that's when I decided that I needed to learn more about beer. So I set myself on that path to learn more. And now, you know, throughout the last three, four decades, I've actually turned that around. And now I'm teaching others about beer. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. So you basically were drinking the average American domestics uh, that a lot of us start with. And mm -hmm. then you, by going to a brewery, you, you kind of developed an appreciation for the craft of it. And uh, it tasted what a, you know, a real, um, I guess it's called microbrewery right. uh, beer right. tastes like. Exactly. Um, maybe you could tell us a little bit about your course, which obviously is going to be linked in the show notes, but uh, maybe you could tell some of my listeners because just in short, uh, what they can expect to gain out of uh, your course. Well, I actually have multiple courses, but the very first one I started with is that's located on Skillshare. And I've been with them since uh, I think it was November 2019 when I posted my first course. Uh, there's actually uh, eight different segments to that course, individual classes. And I'm just going to read them off real quickly. The very first one I posted was how to be a beer geek. And in this one, I cover a lot of uh, ground a lot of different individual things things you know, so I, I talk about uh, beer glassware and why it's important to pour out your beer rather than drink it directly from the container um, I talk a little bit about pairing beer with food so like I said a lot of different segments in that one class but then I went on to break it out into separate classes that went much more in depth for instance um beer styles that's that's a very that's one of those concepts that most consumers don't have a good grasp on the fact that beer does come in a lot of different styles so i break that down for them um i have a class called how to choose beer and i break down how you can put all, a bunch of different beers into different classes like uh, basically dark beers or light beers lagers ales and so on and make it a little bit easier for the consumer to understand all that I have individual classes on Belgian beers, on German beers, on British beers, on American beers, et cetera. I talk about sour beers because that's something that's relatively new to most beer consumers. So I break that down. I go into great depth in that one. And because I'm a beer judge and I know a lot of other people are interested in being a beer judge, I have a class just on how to judge beer like a pro. So I, uh, I like to think that I help them out in that way as well. That's so cool. Um, just curious, you know, my favorite type of beer, although I, I like many different styles, is usually a Belgian white ale, like a weedy, you know, kind of Belgian beer, as well as like an unfiltered half of Eisen. Do you have a favorite style? <laughs> uh, you know, it's one of those questions I'm asked all the time. And there are a couple of styles that I do prefer, although I, I tend to have a favorite beer within each style, but um, I, I definitely, it's funny you mentioned Belgians because I'm a big fan of Belgian beers. I really do like Belgian triples. 
Uh, but I'm also a fan of American IPAs. I know that sounds kind of trite because everybody's talking about IPAs. It's very popular now, yeah. Exactly. But I have been into them for many, many years. I really enjoy hops. I really appreciate what hops give to beer in terms of the aromatics, the flavor, the bittering, all of that. So, yes, I'm a big fan of American IPAs as well. So even though uh, a lot of hipsters like it, you liked it before it was cool. And uh... Well, I, I guess, yes, you could say that. I actually do grow my own hops here in my home, mm -hmm. in my backyard. I have been for 37 years now. And I don't know if you can see that, but that's that's just a, a plastic example of what hops look like. I use that in my educational classes. Very cool. Yeah, they're very, very popular in New York, actually, where I live. Uh, IPAs. Every dive bar has at least one. Yeah, oh, uh, yeah, I'm sure. So... Um, here's here's an interesting question for you what um what are the reasons usually given uh by your students people take your course for why they are doing it is it because they want to impress um uh, their boyfriend who's a beer fanatic is it because they want to um they just enjoy beer but they want to actually know how to talk about it knowledgeably what what usually is the incentive people have for taking your class I think there are actually two different levels here. I think the first level is just your average consumer that seeks a little bit of information to, to make them better consumers. You know, people who don't know about beer styles, they can, you know, do a quick course on it and, and just come up to speed on the different beer styles out there, what they should taste like and, and, and learn whether or not they actually like that style or not. Uh, so that's just your, your average consumer. Then you have the other folks who are actually trying to advance their knowledge. They, they might already be working within the industry or they want to get a job within the industry. And so learning about beer gives them this leg up on other, you know, other potential employees that they can do better. They can further themselves within the industry. Um, you know, I'm somewhat of a foodie. I like to cook. I, I like to you know, experiment, making cocktails, making different things. Um, I wonder, um, in, you, you know, in your own words, how does knowing more about, you know, let's say beer, of course, in this case, how does that enhance one's experience of enjoying a beverage of their choice? Well, I think for many, many years, there was the concept that a beer is a beer is a beer. You know, people didn't give much thought to it. And, and there are also others who have, they, they, they have this knee-jerk reaction to certain styles. Like, for instance, dark beer. I know a lot of people who don't like dark beer. It's just like, no, you know, it's like they think of it as uh, imposing or aggressive or filling or highly alcoholic. And, yeah, and on, the, on the other end, my, my father, he, he like won't drink anything that isn't a dark beer. He always asks everywhere, <laughs> do you have any dark beer? <laughs> well, good for him. I, I, I like to hear that. That's the other side of the coin. But yeah, uh, people have too many misconceptions about what beers are. So it, it helps them to know what exactly they are. And it may take away a little bit of their, their fear. Um, so they, it, I try to encourage people to try things. They may not like them all, but as long as they at least take that step and, and try them to understand what it is they like or don't like about them. And it's funny that you mentioned that you're a foodie. Uh, I'm the, the, the world in which I live you know, with a lot of other beer people, beer judges, home brewers, these people tend to be very food oriented. Beer goes so well with food, whether you're uh, cooking with it or pairing with it with food. It's amazing how well beer uh, finds a symbiosis with food. And so many people I know are very comfortable in the kitchen. Like myself, I love to cook as well. Yeah, you know, actually, my my wife makes an amazing beer bread, um, nice. <laughs> but uh, you know, beer is is it also the oldest drink um, that we know? Um, That's water. There, there is some argument to it. Uh, archaeologists and anthropologists hypothesize that beer is probably about ten thousand years old. However, as old as that sounds, uh, there are those who say that wine and mead probably are older. Due to the fact that it does not take, and, and, and I'm not trying to put down uh, winemakers, but it doesn't take much to make wine. Grapes can simply fall to the ground, and, and if they end up in a puddle uh, and bacteria 
uh, finds that, it can turn it into wine, just like that. No big deal. Beer, of course, there's a little bit more of a process to it that takes longer. It actually takes human intervention to make beer. Interesting. Okay, yeah, that, that's true. I guess making a good wine is a long, involved <laughs> process, but but just basic wine, that, that makes a lot of sense. So, Marty, where could people find you? Uh, besides your course, obviously, where could they learn more about you? Uh, something new that I've recently started up just in the last three months or so. Uh, I did start at my TikTok account finally. Fantastic. And I, I present what I call beer stories. And these are just vignettes of things that I have experienced over the past 30, 40 years uh, within the beer world. And I try to keep them short. They're only about two minutes long or so. But, uh, you know, some of them are humorous. Some of them are poignant. Uh, but all of them have a little story to tell. And, you know, I think they're interesting. <laughs> Fantastic. Awesome. So I'll also uh, link your, your TikTok handle in the show notes, along with the link to uh, get more information about your course. Mm -hmm. And uh, thank you so much, Marty, for being here today. I think it was really interesting. My listeners learned a lot. And I definitely uh, look forward to expanding my knowledge of one of my favorite beverages. Thank you so much. Cool. Well, thank you. I appreciate it.